Nice jacket, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Where'd you get that jacket? Uh, in... Well, no, nah, you got it here. <laughs> you got it here because I invited you up to be on the show. And then you had a T-shirt that had a logo on it. And we weren't allowed to show that logo. And I said you could take your T-shirt off. And you were like, no, don't make me undress. Don't make me undress in the basement, creepy man. And I was like, all right. And then we gave you one of our show T-shirts to put on top. But it's made of such cheap material that your logo actually shone through it. So finally, we gave you this jacket. You are allowed to keep until the first commercial break. Yeah. What's your name, young fella? Bobby. Bobby? Where are you from, Bobby? I'm uh, from Canada. Canada? Yes, sir. Of course you are. <laughs> you a surfer? Yes, I am. Is that why you came down to California? You got it. Can you do that thing with your hand? No, you... <laughs> I see you are a surfer. Now, here's a question I have for you. You got it. Longboard or shortboard? Longboard. Huh? <laughs> That's kind of retro, isn't it? I thought it was shortboard was all the craze now with these angry, aggressive surfers are doing all the cutting all the time. You like a slow, long, careful... <laughs> Is that what we're saying? Absolutely. Yeah, good for you, young fella. I like that. Do you like, the, uh, do you like these uh, cars that have got wood on the side? Oh. <laughs> Oh, what are they called again? Those cars. You know, you can, don't say their name on CBS. <laughs> Pumas? Pumas? I thought that was a sexually attractive older woman. <laughs> oh, no, that's a, no, no I, I was thinking of mixing a, a cougar with a puma. <laughs> that's a kuma. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't sound bad to me. <laughs> you uh, ever do it with a kuma? <laughs> It's only awkward if you make it awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you may be my best friend. Where, where, whereabouts are you from in Canada? Uh, Niagara on the Lake. Is that where you learned to surf? Niagara Falls? Did you surf off the, the, the Niagara Falls right there? Did you do that? Uh, yes. Of yeah! <laughs> That's right. That's how you get the Kumas, young fella. <laughs> It just uh, goes to show you all the stereotypes about Canadians are not true. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to apologize. <laughs> Would you like to apologize? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. There you are. One of them's true. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by the new Kia Optima Limited Midsize Sedan. Elegance, performance, technology. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. applause has melted my cold Scottish heart. <laughs> you can have the day off for Christmas. <laughs> and I've cooked a goose. <laughs> That's code for a sex thing. <laughs> right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> No, they're, 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 they're looking up right now to see if a cooked goose is, in fact, a sex thing. It is not a sex thing. I just made it up. I just made it up right now. I mean, it will be a sex thing by the time the show is over. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> great day for America. Yes. Oh, uh, also, uh, great day for Mariah Carey. I used to be on a show with her brother, Drew. But I am... Um... <laughs> Mariah Carey is getting $18 million a year to be a judge on American Idol. seem that the only people who get rich and famous from American Idol are people that are already rich and famous and are on it as judges. 18 million is a lot of money, even for a judge. That's even more than the Supreme Court got for approving Obamacare. Well, hey! You are welcome, Fox News. Republicans are like, was that a joke not against us there? <laughs> According to the new study, there's 98% of Americans don't trust the internet, which would explain why Fred Willard drove to the theater for his performance. <laughs> I still think that's adorable, don't you? A little flask of coffee and some tissues. <laughs> Tonight, cooked goose. The presidential uh, candidates were on the trail today. Uh, President Obama was in Portland, Oregon. Mitt Romney was in Reno. And Joe Biden was at Chuck E. Cheese. But they all... <laughs> but they all had to go home and... <laughs> That's a joke. That was like a late-night joke right there, wasn't it? It was like, yeah, one thing, another thing, and then the third thing, which was funny. That's like a real joke right there. You got him on the ropes, boy. Got him on the ropes, though. Cooked their goose. Anyway, they all had to go home early because tonight's a very important tonight. No one wanted to miss this in the world of television. Tonight, the season finale of HGV TV Design Star. <laughs> that was great. Have you seen the show? Uh, the design, it's great. Interior decorators fight to the death like gladiators. Or uh, it's either to the death or until they've designed a fabulous breakfast nook. But you got a picture of the cast? There they are right there. Their motto is uh, guts, glory, and glam, which is also the names I've given to my testicles. <laughs> have three. The middle one is glory. Three, it's true. I go like that. It's like a Newton's cradle. I do have people come around to my office. It helps them relax to watch it. <laughs> anyway, with the design show, uh, like anything else, of course, interior design is subjective. What you like, I may hate. What I like, you may hate. The only difference is you'd be wrong. <laughs> now, I direct decorated a room in my apartment from scratch. It's amazing what you can do with imagination and 32 life-size Justin Bieber posters. <laughs> Anyway, if you haven't seen the, the show, you should really check it out. What show, Craig? Get with the program, girlfriend! Design Star! <laughs> I love that you just started clapping like that. It's like, yeah, we want to be part of this crap too! Anyway, the competition on Design Star gets very intense. Every week they kick someone out. I, well, all reality shows do that. Jeff Probst on The Survivor says, the tribe has spoken. I don't know what they say in Design Star. I think it's something like, get the feng shui out of here. <laughs> now, Design Star is currently the highest rated show on HGTV. I don't know what HGV stands for, HGTV. Uh, hey, grab that Vaseline. <laughs> And I'll cook your goose. The, uh... No, HGVT has got the channel that's got House Hunters International on it. I love that show. That, I talked about it last night. That's a reality show that uh, follows a couple from, you know, they move from one town to another town and another country. And it's always well-meaning Canadians who want to go somewhere very dangerous. <laughs> it's like, well, Paul and Ichabod are a delightful couple from Toronto. They're looking for a breezy summer getaway in war-torn Chad. <laughs> I've learned a lot about real estate from watching House Hunters. I used to know that only the, you know, that three rules thing about buying a house, location, location, pleasure dungeon. Put the lotion in the basket. I'd cook your goose. 
You're going to come to me at the commercial break and go lay off that cook goose thing, all right? All right, all right. <laughs> anyway, House Hunters got in trouble recently because it was revealed most of it was recreated for cameras and people were outraged. A reality show that isn't reality? <laughs> What's next? Pro wrestling that isn't authentic combat? <laughs> Women in pornography faking their pleasure? Something called The Late Late Show, having the gall to tape at 5 p.m. <laughs> That's a new thing. We gotta do that. That's gotta be a new thing. We gotta do it. Uh, yeah, Let's yeah. try it again. Yeah. And... <laughs> I think... I think I've got a bit of an erection. <laughs> or it could be just the Newton cradle effect. <laughs> Do you watch the Design Star show? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do you, are you big into interior design? Big fan. <laughs> big fan of what? Interior design or that show? Interior designers. <laughs> You're not going for that old cliche, are you? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what we do here. We take a cliché and we beat it to death. <laughs> and by beat it to death, I mean we cook its goose. <laughs> When's it going to become an issue for you? Pretty soon, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. You just take... This is what happens in my job. You take a completely innocent statement like cooked goose, say it enough times with an accent going like that, <laughs> and suddenly it's a dirty thing you're not allowed to say anymore. <laughs> The same thing happened to me with the... No, I better not say it. <laughs> right, Jeff? Remember when we were talking about that thing? Yeah, I remember that thing. <laughs> totally taken out of context. Totally man. taken out of context. We were actually talking about a train that was travelling to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You better go okay. to the commercial. We'll be right back with more Late Late Show, where our motto is, Butts, Creepy, and Man. <laughs> Welcome back to the Late Late Show. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of sick of it already as well. <laughs> what do you think? You I work? love it. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, know, it's one of those things. It's just the kind of thing that we pick up. It's funny once, and then we do it and do it and do it and do it. And then it's not funny, and people write in letters and like, knock it off. We've had enough. And we keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And you know why? Because we're perverse. <laughs> Which reminds me, do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> How long have we been doing that? Oh, about seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. <laughs> Still funny? No. <laughs> Still doing it? Yes. Um, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Tonight's tweet mail segment is brought to you by Uncle Fred's Cooked Goose, the delicious poultry that's best enjoyed alone. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do our own jingle. Yeah. Do our own jingle, right? We'll do our own jingle tonight. You ready? It's email time. It's email time. What the hell is going on over there? I kind of like this. It's just the kind of thing that we'll do until it gets really annoying. Like right now. Yes, All right, this is, uh... <laughs> This is from Denise in Buffalo, New York. She's sent a, a picture of herself, too. Look at that. <laughs> a very attractive woman. <laughs> Denise says, uh, Dear Craig, how long can you leave milk out of the refrigerator before you have to throw it away? <sighs> 25 minutes. <laughs> is that right, Jeff? 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Any longer than that, it'll, uh, it'll curdle. And you don't want curdled milk. That's just the kind of thing that'll... 
cook your goose. <laughs> this is from uh, Dalton and uh, somewhere. Just, just, just Dalton just says Dalton and it's a picture of a bird. <laughs> it says, hi Craig, I'm Dalton from Kentucky. Well, there you are, he put it in the thing. <laughs> Can you ask Jess, Jeff if he is single? I think he's so cute. And then he's done that smiley comma emoticon thing you can do. Mm. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, yeah, I'm single and ready to mingle. <laughs> he's ready to mingle as long as you can get within 12 feet of an outlet. <laughs> now, this is from Joseph in New York City. I don't know if you can tell from the photograph here, but Joseph is a cockatoo. <laughs> Uh, dear Craig, how do I tell my girlfriend she is fat? Oh, dude. <laughs> you have a choice. You can, you can uh, have a girlfriend or you can tell the lady she's fat. <laughs> you cannot have both. <laughs> Plus, you know, are you, you know, in any, hey, you know, what's, uh, you go, girl. Uh, <laughs> And finally, this is uh, from uh, Portia in uh, Nashua in uh, New Hampshire. He says, uh, Dear Craig, who's going to be your first guest in the brand new studio? Uh, it's going to be, oh, it's going, I know who it's going to be. You know who it's going to be? I know who it is. Oh. It's going to be Kristen. It's going to be Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell is going to be my first guest. But the, the, I like Kristen. <laughs> she's nice. But she's, she's cheeky. <laughs> and she's got a temper. <laughs> but I kind of like that in a woman. Right, Jeff? I don't care for her. She and Jeff don't get along. That's why I wanted her to be the first guest in the new studio. But here's the thing. I don't want you thinking the new studio means a new set. A lot of people think, well, what's the new set going to look like? No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to a new studio. It's still this. <laughs> CBS does care, just not about this show. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the classiest show in late night television. <laughs> right, Jeff? <laughs> Got you sleeping there, buddy? <laughs> I'm fine, right here. <laughs> <laughs> My first guest is a very beautiful actress. She's guest starring in Web Therapy, Mondays on Showtime. Take a look at this. <laughs> the lovely Mini Driver, everybody. Mini Driver. Tidy up. Those I days are behind you. I You're a star. Go on, help it. You're such oh. a slob. Do you see my ring? Wow. What the hell? Did you get engaged to a bird? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. What's that? Good? Yeah, that's it. I said that, it, a cockatoo? No, I said it was a sea. I said it was an eagle, and my son said, "No, it's a seagull," <laughs> which doesn't have such a sort of fancy totem in the whole kind of. Trigger. I think it looks a bit like an owl. Do you ever go to Hooters? <laughs> Oh, my God. Are we going to go there already? Yeah. It's God, me, it man. Not... I haven't seen you for ages. It you was... look great. You know, I tweeted today about coming on this show, yeah. and I said, um, I've known you a long time, so we'll probably just talk about my mum and the traffic. <laughs> Sorry. How is your mum? She's right? fantastic. Yeah. Traffic's terrible. Traffic was bad, yeah. <laughs> Traffic's bad in L.A. Do you, would you drive one of them uh, cars that don't need uh, gasoline? Yeah, but it's a total lie, isn't it? Because they do. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Go on. Your hair's a bit fly away. Thank you. <laughs> Would that be weird if I, like... Oh, hang on. It's uh, sticking up. There you go. Would it be weird if I went to fix your hair and it came off? <laughs> like, God, now that I read that Andre Agassi book, I wish it had come off his hair. Do you what? remember when he wrote that thing about that that was what he was most worried about when he was playing... Playing, playing tennis because yeah, he was, was bald. because he was bald and he was wearing, like, a syrup. Syrup is a cockney rhyming slang. Syrup of fig, wig. It's so we are okay. in America, you know, men. I'm sorry, That's Craig. all right. Yeah, but it's a, it, have you acclimatized yet? Have you become a citizen? 
No. Aren't you going to? I don't think I could remember the lines. <laughs> you know, you have to learn a whole thing about I am an American. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know, I became an American, I didn't have to do that. Maybe it's a, I went to a different one. You, you, mean, the, you mean the Pledge of Allegiance? You're actually, you're actually Canadian, that's what Don't happened. even say that! <laughs> you took the wrong place! Oh, no, I, I love Canada, but Don't I'm an American. Don't questions, what? like, you know, like... You yeah, know, you have to, it's a quiz, the, yeah. Yeah, so what kind of questions well, are you Well, is it, you know, do you, do you like gum? Yes, do you hate Al-Qaeda? <laughs> yes, good, you're in. <laughs> that's it. Will you floss? I promise I will. Okay, there you go. Because we have a lot of problems with British people saying they're going to floss and then not flossing. I will floss. I so swear. And then you get in. You've been here for a while now. I've been here forever. I have. I've been here for like 13 or 14 years. Well, that's a long time. You should maybe think about it. Do you pay your tax in America? Yeah, I mean, taxation without representation, it sucks, actually. Well, that's, that's the whole yeah, idea. You, you can have representation. Okay, well, swear me in, then. Oh, I, I'm not entitled to. Because oh, you're, um, can, you're Canadian. No! Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if I've got my equipment here. <laughs> no, I think your goose is cooked. Uh, no, but I think it's time you do it. How have you been otherwise? Um, I've been well, darling. Mm -hmm. I did. I went and did a lovely film in England this summer. Really? Were you in uh, London? I was. It poured it, with rain the entire time. Your Majesty the Queen's Jubilee this year. Did you go to anything? Oh, no, because I was filming on that day, but all, everybody. Did you know that they really did have the homeless people handing out sort of cagoules for uh, underneath the bridges? Windbreakers. They, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They literally, they marshaled. Only in England would they marshal. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody in America going, what? What? what a, a cagoule? <laughs> the hell's a cagoule? So I'd never pass the test. It's clearly you why know, I'm not. No, you'll be fine. You'll be all right. <clears throat> so anyway, cagoule's a Canadian word. You know that? <laughs> no, it, it might be. It might be. I think it might be Inuit. I'm lying. Uh, anyway, so they had they, homeless people giving out. Yeah, they basically they sort of the city of London marshaled as far as I as far as you know if the Guardian is to be trusted. Which is a newspaper, newspaper in Britain. England. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you acclimatised at all? Do you still eat, like, pies and stuff here? Yes, of course I do. No, you don't, oh, actually. Do. You look very... Oh, God, I like your shoes. They're nice, aren't they? Yes, they oh, are. Very much, very, very much. Wow, thank you, look thank at you. that. Are that real diamonds on your shoes? Yes, real diamonds on the toes of my shoes. That's a song, isn't it? No, soles of your shoes. What's the... How come your toenail polish is the same colour as your nail nail polish? Because I'm a girl! <laughs> You wake up in the morning and you go, um, everything's got to match. I, I, I paint my toenails. Carpet most and of drapes. The time. Carpet and drapes. Carpet and drapes. <laughs> uh, well, I have to tell you, well, my research is, in this town has proved that not a lot of girls care about that. Well, there's not a whole lot of carpet left, that's why. <laughs> that's true. Maybe. That's true. Everyone's gone for the Hard hardwood the floors, yeah. <laughs> Is up a tree. Yeah, buff and shine, buff and shine. <laughs> you went there at the same yeah, I time. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. No, here's the thing. You are just as rude as me, but you blame me for being dirty and rude, and you're even dirtier and ruder than me. I know, because you love being dirty and rude, and I want to at least maintain the sort of, you know, well, I want to feign being a girl who cares about nail polish. And not you being can a care dirty about slut, you which can, apparently you're I You're not am. a dirty slut, yeah. <laughs> anyway. No, you're, no, 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 but you've got the, you know, you've done all that, you can do that and do that, you can be clever and still enjoy, you know, fart jokes, it's okay. So wait, so what else do you do? What do you mean? Well, like in paint addition, my toenails? No, but in addition to being, you know, sort of dirty and creepy, what else is there? <laughs> well, that's my main thing. <laughs> My main thing is dirty and creepy, but I sometimes, I, I occasionally will read a book, for example. What are you reading right now? What are you reading? Oh my gosh, I'm reading uh, Stendhal on love. Oh boy. I haven't learned anything yet, and it's, yeah. it's a, it might, I might have bitten off more than I can actually chew. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. I might go back to Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey, that's, that's what you want. Oh, have you read that? Really. I, tr I, did, I, I tried, did yeah. try it. <laughs> God, it's funny. It's, yeah, it's God, it's, fan it's I, so I kind of, funny. Well, it's I, so when funny. I was reading it, I thought, you know, because I think I'm very vanilla and not sexually adventurous at all. And I, then I would love that you use the term from the book, vanilla. <laughs> you tell me that. You read all three, didn't you? Sod. I think I'm a little vanilla. I'm a little vanilla. Safety words, banana. But the, uh, <laughs> but I actually think I'm quite I, I'm quite sexually adventurous. I think more so than that. 
What do you do? Well, I can't tell you. It's network television. Do you know, Adam Sandler once said, he, when someone asked him about sex, he went, yeah, you know, I can just do it slow and I can also do it fast. <laughs> That's funny, that's one of the questions on the American citizenship thing. I love it, you're and you see it's all coming back to you. Let's you? keep talking about sex. All right. <sighs> Short conversation. I mean, we have to take a commercial break back and still keep talking to you about sex. We'll be right back. And we'll be talking about sex. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Minnie Driver, who's... Uh, do you say, are you still singing? Are you still got your band? Yeah, I'm just finishing a third record. I can't believe you actually asked me something about something that I'm doing, but yeah. <laughs> I'm, I just, I'm just finishing my... Third. And do you find when you're singing that it, it's sexually exciting for you? <laughs> Because it is yeah, for me. Yeah, sometimes. It, it, well, particularly when you, when, if there's any kind of any percussion going and it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback to your balls. <laughs> well, you, 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 uh, you enjoy a Newton's Cradle every now and again, don't you? I love... It's that, that sounds like Cockney rhyming slang. Newton's Cradle. Newton's Cradle. I like Cradle. rhyming slang. I was trying to think, what's the other ones? Are the apples and pears is stairs. Trouble and strife. Trouble and strife, wife. Richard uh, III. Richard III, turd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, really? Well, it can be either. I thought Richard III was, I have to go to the bathroom, I've got Richard coming on. <laughs> or it could be, who's that lovely dicky bird, see? But yeah, how, does they, how, how come that girls get called birds? Like, they, in America they get called chicks, and in England they get called birds, but why did that happen? Is it because of... Some... I wish I'd had advance notice that there were going to be questions that m may or may not contribute to my becoming an American citizen on the show. <laughs> That is one of the questions. Do you like gum? Uh, I don't know. There's something, because I suppose... Because guys used to say, I like birds, the two-legged variety. The two-legged variety. <laughs> think all birds have got two legs. You don't get a bird with four legs. They're like, oh, look at that seagull. It's got four legs. Oh, oh look, the two-legged variety. Yeah, two-legged. Do you know what? When I, did, um, when I did the Bond film back... I don't remember what. I did Goldeneye 100 years ago. And it was before... I don't know, it was before everything was politically correct, and I remember one of the ADs, he used to pat me on the bottom every single day and go, that's a lovely little bird, that's a lovely little bird. What? And I used to go, you that's can... not my bird, that's not a bird, that's my ass." Right. But he always called my bum a bird, so I wonder if it's just some sort of quasi pejorative Are you sure he sexual... worked on the film, or did he just turn up? <laughs> He's turned up every day to pat you in the bottom. Because I would, I would do that. It was actually Piers Brosnan. Piers Brosnan? No, it wasn't Piers. No, he wouldn't do that. It wasn't. It was just back in the time where it was sort of, it was apparently OK. What are you talking crazy. about? It was only ten years ago or something. Apparently back then you were allowed to do No, that. you can't touch anyone's bottom now. I touched my wife's bottom the other day. I, she called the police. <laughs> She's suing me. <laughs> It's because you read Fifty Shades of Grey. No, I touched her and went, ooh, that's a nice... She said banana, and I didn't stop. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Hey, listen, um... <laughs> Thank God. One more question. Go ahead. Oh, isn't she lovely? She's lovely. God bless her. No. Uh, yeah, what? Oh, God, you're going to do something... Don't do anything dirty to the Queen. I'm not doing anything dirty to the Queen. Well, what are you going to put on that plate? A cup. <laughs> Look, it's a saucer. Cup. <laughs> Go on, what were you going to ask me? I was going to ask you, what is she thinking in this photograph? I don't think she's got a skirt on, frankly. I think Ashley's like, Philip, can you see my knickers? <laughs> <laughs> can you see my knickers? Can you see my knickers, Philip? I just Philip, see my there's 50 words, banana! <laughs> see, that's it, you won't get your leadership <laughs> thing now. I'm to be allowed to be English now, much less be American. Oh, of course you're allowed to be English. They've got a sense it. of humour all the time. They <laughs> they know that we mean no disrespect to Her Majesty the Queen. I God bless her. her. I bought several mugs for the in, in lieu of the crockery. That's how they make all their money, you know, crockery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless her. She's what? She's a 120. 120 now, is she? Yeah. Well, good on her, I say. <laughs> Well, that's it. Uh, we're done. Anything else you want to add? I think it went brilliantly. I think it went very, very well. I like your hair. Thanks, love.
<laughs> Glad you fixed it. You've got very good hair, though, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. You never lost it. I gather it from other parts of my body and <laughs> stick it out. <laughs> oh, I'm shaved. It's all up here. So, in your house, do you have uh, hardwood floors or carpets? Good night, everybody. <laughs>
way. Yeah, he's got a scooter. He drives around in a scooter. Reverse. Because he's so rich, he doesn't have a big car now. <laughs> he's got so rich, he's coming right, right around, and he drives around in right. tiny little things. Well, he used to have a scooter on whose line, but he had to. <laughs> <laughs> Different thing. Different thing. Yeah, he's thin now. Yeah, he has. He's lost quite a... And good for him. It's, yeah, no, uh, that was that was difficult. I, I, I nursed him through it. Oh, good for you. you. I wasn't involved at all. I didn't think so, but no. I was trying to support you. Yeah, I, and I support him. Yeah, he's uh, he's lost a lot of weight running marathons. Yeah, do you ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have this image, and uh, getting fit is not part of it. You still married? I'm still married. That's uh, a risky question in 20, Hollywood. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 23 years and counting. Wow, well, that's fantastic. That's really she says hi, by the way. How's she doing? She's doing great. Yeah. She's uh, uh, Is she in woman. Canada here? In Canada. Yeah. I'll see her tomorrow. <laughs> There's no problem. Everything is fine. Um, I see. Yeah, no, she's, uh, Deb is doing great. She's the best thing uh, that ever happened next to my son. And then the two of them together is like perfect. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's undercut this. None of this, oh, that's great. What do you think this is, Oprah? Knock it off. You want to talk about your time in rehab or something? She has a nice woman, though, Deb. She no, she's nice. lovely. I love her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, see, I always thought Deb, though Canadian, strikes me as being someone who also looks very Scottish. She is Scottish. Her family uh, is from Aberdeen. Oh, that's intensely Scottish. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's like very, very Scottish. Yeah, her grandmother, uh, first time she met me, said, Mockery. That's not a Scottish name. <laughs> and sneered and uh, ignored me for two years. What, well, is Mockery an Irish name? It started, I believe, in Bavaria. And then, Bavaria? Yeah. And then it migrated over to Scotland. Well, as... no, I don't think there's any Mockeries in Bavaria. I would what? know. <laughs> would you? Do you keep up on all the Scottish peoples, where they came from? No, no, only Bavarian current events. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Bavaria, the part of Germany, Bavaria? Southern Germany, yeah. Bavaria? What? Mockery? I lied. Yeah. I'm from Scotland. It's Scotland all the way. Yes, I don't see it at all. How come you're so much higher? Oh, it's one of these talk show rules. <laughs> see, it's my first one. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I get, Actually, I should probably be about here. No, no. Uh, <laughs> you go to another talk show, like, I, hey, sir, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> You could pretend that I'm your dummy. I have been. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we're out of time. Do you want 50 bucks? This is the best time ever. Wow. It's in quarters. Of course it is, because that's the best way to get 50 bucks. <laughs> it's one of the best ways to get 50 bucks. Very good. Call Mokri from Bavaria, everybody.